Ever walked into a current branch? Spoiler alert, you can't. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of challenger banks, those new, tech-savvy financial institutions shaking things up. We've all seen the commercials, sleek apps, easy sign-up, and promises of a more streamlined banking experience. But with all this digital focus, one question lingers. Can you actually walk into a physical current branch and talk to a teller? Let's face it, the traditional bank branch has been a mainstay for generations. A place to deposit checks, get cashier's checks, or simply ask a question about your account. But with challenger banks like Current, everything revolves around the app. So, is that a deal breaker? Or is the convenience of a mobile first approach enough? The rise of the challenger bank. Before we dissect Current specifically, let's rewind a bit. Challenger banks emerged in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis. Consumers, disillusioned with what they saw as big banks prioritizing profits over people, sought alternatives. Enter the Challenger Bank, promising lower fees, a focus on mobile technology, and a more transparent approach. These new players operate almost entirely online, with minimal overhead costs. They pass those savings onto customers in the form of fee-free accounts, high-interest savings, and often, earlier access to your paycheck. It's a tempting proposition, especially for millennials and Gen Z accustomed to doing everything on their phones. Current, redefining banking for a mobile generation. Now, back to Current. Launched in 2017, Current positions itself as a modern financial app. They offer a single spending account with no monthly fees, instant deposits for paychecks, and cashback rewards on debit card purchases. Sounds pretty good, right? But remember, there's no physical branch. Everything is done through the app, from managing your account to contacting customer support. The pros and cons of going branchless. So, is the lack of a physical branch a major drawback? It depends on your banking habits. If you're comfortable managing your finances entirely through an app, Current's model might be perfect for you. The convenience is undeniable. Need to transfer money? A few taps on your phone and it's done. Lost your debit card? Freeze it instantly through the app. However, what if you prefer face-to-face -face interaction? Maybe you need help navigating a complex financial situation or simply don't trust apps with your hard-earned money. In those cases, the lack of a physical branch can be a significant hurdle. There's no one to talk to in person, and resolving issues might take longer through online channels. Security and reliability. Are challenger banks safe? Another concern with challenger banks is security. After all, you're entrusting your money to a relatively new player in the financial landscape. Here, it's important to do your research. Current, for instance, is FDIC insured, meaning your money is protected up to $250,000 in case of bank failure. They also employ robust security measures like multi-factor authentication and encryption to safeguard your information. Are challenger banks the future of banking? The rise of challenger banks like current signals a shift in consumer preferences. People are increasingly comfortable managing their finances digitally. But will physical branches become obsolete? Probably not entirely. There will always be a segment of the population who value the security and personalized service of a traditional bank. However, the convenience and accessibility offered by challenger banks are undeniable. They're forcing the traditional banking industry to adapt and innovate. We might see a future where physical branches become less frequent, but not disappear altogether. Instead, they might evolve into specialized centers offering more complex financial services. The verdict? Is current right for you? So, should you ditch your traditional bank and switch to current? There's no one-size-fits-all answer. If you're comfortable with mobile banking and prioritize convenience and low fees, current could be a great option. However, if you value face-to-face -face interaction or have complex financial needs, a traditional bank might be a better fit. Ultimately, the best bank is the one that aligns with your financial habits and goals. Do your research, compare features, and don't be afraid to try different options until you find the perfect fit. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.